secret lighting, Anyang Haseo, welcome to another video. Guys, we are on the way to the Shred Quarters. I feel like it's been way too long here. That's been like five days. This morning I already woke up and edited my video for YouTube and edited a Instagram commercial for Progress Daily. So it has been productive. It's about 9.50 a.m. There's so much left to do today. There's so much on the to-do list. And also, there are certain tricks that I have to get today. Ryan Ames. Hey, buddy. How you doing, dog? I'm doing we are here. We're gonna skateboard. We're both very sore. I'm actually really sore too. I didn't mention that. He's been working out. I've just been skating a lot, which is nice. But we're gonna go here, and here, and here, and skate all of this right now. Very satisfactory session. Brian actually left, but the double 360 flip, I, I'm really surprised, even though I set my standards today to potentially do it down the five stair, uh, but just doing it off the ramp a couple of times felt so foreign and new to me and really, really good, because I'm basically like getting the trick better. The fact that I did two in a row at the end is like crazy to me, so I'm really, really excited about that one. I want to try it down the five, but like I feel like today I should just take that as a win and uh, try something different. But you know this is a channel of progression, and I want to tell you what I have planned for the day. Things that I need to get done, including talking about these daggum shoes, which is probably the title and thumbnail of this video. These shoes, uh, I'll let you know in a second. First, I gotta plan tour dates for South Carolina. I need to spark a conversation with the skateboard Instagram accounts. I have to solidify the designs for the t-shirts for the charities that I'm working with. I need to schedule a hair appointment. This thing right here is not real. I need to get 10 pictures of Progress Daily products all around Cincinnati. This one's a total social media nerd thing, but I need to plan five thumbnails that I can incorporate into Instagram. Thumbnails are everything. When it comes to the accounts, thumb anyways, next. I've got to outline the Cincinnati tour that I'm doing and the California. I don't need to plan all the details. I should outline it and make sure that, yep. Sarah and I have to buy the tickets for California. And then finally, I need to write one script. But, as for these shoes. So the idea of these shoes was to try to buy from a smaller brand to see how they withstood compared to all the other shoes I've been skating, AKA Vans and Adidas lately. Here's the thing, I love slip-ons. I skate Vans slip-ons all the time. I love them a lot, except for the fact that they're too skinny uh, and they pretty much hurt my feet the entire time I wear them. Now, if you've seen the video of me actually opening these and putting them on, they felt incredible. They felt wide from the get-go. They felt broken in as soon as I put them on. It was a total Totally new feeling. And I understand for skate shoes, they all vary. You might just get some shoes that are just more flexible and then some that are just tighter because of the way that they were built. But from what I can tell with these shoes, from what I've seen, this is just my personal opinion. This is totally not a brand deal. It's a small company. They're not gonna. Yeah. These shoes were better. I don't know if there was anything different with the construction, but I know that they stood on my feet better. They lasted a lot longer. They lasted probably a month longer than Vans slip-ons usually last me. The only difference is that Vans has a lot of options when it comes to slip-ons, and I'm pretty sure State Footwear, which is what this brand is, only has one option, the green one. They've had multiple in the past, but on the website last time I went, I could only find one pair. So with Vans, you get more variety. You have a name brand on your feet. You have a brand that like people talk about in songs and stuff, and with this one, it's an obscure brand, and I happen to like that. That more. I like the fact that I'm wearing shoes that most people at the skate park probably have never heard of because I'm a freaking hipster. But I would recommend these. If you do like slip-ons and if you like this specific color, you can look on the website to see if they have more at State Footwear. I'll link it in the description below. I'm gonna keep ordering these. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get some to me fast enough before these shoes completely blow out. The left one is about to be extinct. But it's super impressive that a small brand can make shoes at this caliber. So I'm super excited. All right. 
okay, so here's what happened. I was sitting there, I worked for about two hours, and uh, it didn't go super well. I, I tried, but I planned the trips coming up. I just didn't get like anything else really done. So Sam Tabor hit me up and was like, Beachmont Skate Park, and I'm like, yes, sir. Also, with music, I've sort of just tapped into my younger version today, listened to like Bright Eyes and Neutral Milk Hotel, and that reminded me, if you are out there and you play music, if you're in a band, if you have a friend who's in a band, and your music is copyright free, it has to be, otherwise I literally cannot use anything. I can't use it even if you give me permission. Can't use copyright music. Uh, let me know. Hit me up freaking via the email in the de description below with my last couple of videos. You've probably seen that I've used nothing but music that people send me and I just like it more. I, I just, I, I love it. So uh, holla at your boy. Hey, what are you up to, Sam? <laughs> dude, welcome to the vlog, dude. Are you filming? Yeah, are you freaking stoked to be in the vlog? I am. I am the vlog. Where'd you go last time I was in Cincinnati, bro? Where did I go? Yeah, how come you bailed on everyone? I went to Canada. That sounds fun. And it's cold, like now. It's yeah. Colder. <sighs> My face is frozen, brother. John looks miserable. <laughs> My face is frozen. I'm not used to this. I've been inside all day, and I've been on the West Coast, so it has been warm and nice. But we have a scooter. This is no scooter. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't think we had it in us, did you guys? There's a scooter, and we're going to do this. It's going to be so much fun. It's a video on his channel yep. going up probably in like 25 minutes. Probably. working, hustling away. Uh, I basically got everything I want to do list done except for one thing, so now I'm pretty stoked, but I am gonna end this video talking about a quote of the night. And the quote of the night is by Tim Ferriss. He's a dude that I, I freaking talk about all the time. Everyone out there probably knows who Tim Ferriss is. Uh, and if you don't, read one of his books, you're gonna be like, oh, that's why people like him. Uh, his quote is actually, the best way to counteract a hater is to make it blatantly obvious that their attack has no impact on you. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have a hater yet, it will come. And I think everybody at the age of, you know, as you're aging, you'll probably meet someone who doesn't like you, who doesn't really approve of what you do, and you just have to kind of continue on your path. And to make it blatantly obvious that you don't care is to ignore them. That's, which, that's the best thing to do with any hater. Once you like sort of feed the flames, the flames just get bigger and then you're in hell. Anyways, that's the quote of the night. Guys, if you aren't following me on Instagram, John Hill, if you're not following Progress Daily Clothing, I've been doing a certain theme every day. I upload two things on Progress Daily a day, uh, and I sort of add like a quote of the day on that. I add um, random facts and I don't know. It's just like a whole facet of information if you are interested in Progress Daily Clothing. Um, and yeah, thanks for the following. Thanks for watching this. I'm like delusionally tired. I, I feel weird even talking to a camera right now, so I am going to go. But tune in tomorrow, and pretty much every single day I'm making new videos, and you Yes, I'm super glad you guys are watching. Seriously, appreciate it from the bottom of my achy, breaky heart. You guys are crushing the game, and um, I am stoked on life. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Love you so much. Progress daily, and keep coming.